Okay, if you've seen my previous review of Sperry Topsiders Gold Cup Edition, you know I'm a big fan of these shoes. And after that review, a friend of mine bought this particular pair, which is a slightly different model, that comes further up on your foot. And notice how I made it so that the laces don't go up into that second set of eyelets. I did that on purpose. I tied it that way so that I can slip these on and off of my foot without untying them. I really like to be able to slip this type of shoe on and off of my foot without untying and without reaching down and having to pull it on and so on. I like to be able to just do it without bending over anything, just slip it on and off my foot. And the other version of the gold cups, it's easy to do that. This version, you cannot if you have that second set of eyelets tied. But doing it the way you see right there, I can slip these on and off fine. So it really solved that problem. So when my friend and I were in Dillard's yesterday here at the brand new mall in Sarasota, Florida, one of the first malls built since 2005, by the way, it's a beautiful, luxurious mall. There's a Dillard's in there and they had these shoes and they had them half price because the black color, I guess they had too many of them or whatever, and they had them at half price. So they're normally $170 on Amazon. So at half price, I said, well, you know, I think I'm going to try a pair of these because these will go great with my Segway and with the clothes I wear when I'm out covering events. I wear a black belt and so forth and dark blue pants and the Segway is black and white. So this black color would work fine. So I said I'd go ahead and try them, and, but I was concerned with that slipping on and off the foot. But then I came up with that solution, and it really works. Now, this is the other pair that my friend bought at the same time. These are size 9 and a half. And again, also in black, and we bought them at the same place. It just happened to have his size nine and a half and one pair of 11s uh, my size. So we went ahead and grabbed two pairs of these. But these are also deer skin line. Look at the detailing on them. Now, these are made in China, and I'm not a big fan of that, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, some quality products are coming out of China now. After all, all the iPhones are made there. So it can be done, and the stitching and all, everything looks first rate on these, and, and my other pair has held up fine. They're about a year old, so so far so good, and I will say these are exceptionally comfortable with the deerskin lining. I would probably buy unlined boat shoes if I was actually going to use them in the water a lot and have them get wet a lot because I don't know how well this, this uh, lining holds up to that kind of use, but for just normal everyday use, these things are super comfortable. There's the other pair, the older pair, and again, this style here doesn't come up your foot as far in the front, so you can slip them on and off and have them both uh, tied like you see there. So let me know, what are your favorite boat shoes or this type of shoe? What do you wear? And please subscribe to my channel.